What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. As you can see by the title and the thumbnail, you guys already know we're going to go over. Uh, so let's hop straight into today's video. A lot of people ask me how to make big money in cybersecurity, like $400,000 a year. It's not by climbing the ladder to CISO or by trying to land a high-end job at a big name tech company, right? The path I've used in my own career is contract stacking. That means you can work multiple high-paying remote contract roles at the same time. Now, remember I talked about this all the time. Everybody thought I was lying. There's no way to make 400,000, but there's literally, and I'll drop the tools in the link in the description below. There's an overemployed Reddit that has three, 400,000 people in it right now, y'all, that are doing the same thing as me. This is not something that's fake or a scam or something that's not real. You can do this. If you stack, let's say you have two jobs at 130K a year, one job, 130, another one, right? I had four at the same time. I had four and the least paying one was $120,000 a year. This is something you guys definitely can do and you can look up yourself. Like I said, I'll drop the Reddit overemployed link in the description as well for those that don't believe me. But anyways, before you can stack, you have to get that first high paying job. And the question I get most is, can I land a job, a six figure job in this field within one year? The answer is yes, but you need a very specific strategy. It's not about applying to hundreds of general cybersecurity jobs. It's about becoming a specialist in a high demand, low supply niche. For me and for the people I mentor, that niche is identity access management. This video is about focus. It's a one year plan to land your first six figure I am role. This is a path I've walked myself down starting from help desk. It's difficult, but it's achievable. First, let's talk about the job type. My entire six plus year career has been remote and I've always focused on contract roles over full time positions. Contracts often pay more most of the time. They're more flexible. And the hiring process usually, y'all, can be much, much faster. When your goal is to ramp up your career, your income in the next 12 months, contracting is by far the best route to go. Next, the niche. This is the most important part. You can't be a generalist, is what I like to say all the time. A lot of people get stuck and entry-level SOC or incident response jobs, and the burnout rate on those positions are incredibly high. The path I teach is IAM, or identity access management, and specifically privilege access management, or PAM. I help with GRC, security operations, DevSecOps, all those positions as well. You know, you might ask yourself why. Because there is a massive ongoing shortage of skilled cyber engineers. Companies are paying a huge premium for this one skill, and you can learn the fundamentals much faster than you would think. So here's the one-year plan. And this is my personal one-year plan. Now, some of you may not agree with me, and that's fine, but this is what I would do starting from basically zero to hero. Month one through three, the foundation, right, is what I like to call it. You don't need a four-year degree. I got my start with Network Plus. Spent the first 90 days getting your foundation study for your Network Plus or Security Plus. Like I said, mine personally was Network Plus. That was the first certification I've ever tried to get, and that's the first one I've got. This is what gets your resume past those fillers or filters. It shows you you're serious, and you have the baseline knowledge, and you're basically honestly willing to learn as well, in my opinion. Month four through six kind of is like the specialization route. This is where you separate yourself from everybody else. Instead of applying for jobs, you double down on your specialty. Focus 100% on learning identity access management, uh, GRC, DevSecOps, any of those like I mentioned prior. I focus on CyberArk. I studied, I built a home lab, and I got my first CyberArk. I got my technically first three uh, CyberArk certifications within a couple months uh, of each other. This is the certification that took me from a help desk role to my first six-figure job. Month seven through 12, I like to call the job hunt. Now, your resume looks completely different, right? Uh, you're not an entry-level IT person. You're an IM specialist or a cyber engineer. You only apply for those specific roles. Yes, it will take time. You'll get rejections. Job applications can sometimes be slow. Um, but the opportunities for this one skill set are so abundant that a yes, on y'all, is honestly just inevitable. You just need the right guidance to make sure your resume and interview skills are sharp. That's what hope means. That's what I did. Now, this one-year plan requires focus. You'll have to dedicate time to studying, building labs, and practicing, and even 
when you'd rather be doing other things, it's a short-term trade-off for a long-term career that pays you what you're worth, which is so important and, and valuable, right? Invaluable. And once you land that first high-paying IAM contract, you focus on getting really good and efficient at it. After six or eight months, you'll be able to get your daily work done in just a few hours, honestly. That is when you stack a second remote contract. That's the strategy and that's the route I took and that's what I did personally. That's how you go from zero to your first six-figure job in about a year and then scale to over four or five hundred thousand dollars plus or more. Like I said, there's a bunch of crazy stories and the over and Reddit, overemployed Reddit. Make sure you guys go in there. There's some software engineers making over a million dollars a year in there. It's 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 insane. This path is something I've walked myself down. And it's what I help others do. It's not just a theory. It's the exact blueprint I use. It can be hard to figure all this out on your own, knowing what to do, what not to do, what to study, how to build a lab, what best certifications to get, all of that. Or what to say in an interview. That's also one of the things I struggled in at first getting in as well. That's exactly why I created my mentorship program. It's not a course. It's a support system. I'm there to provide guidance and help you land that first high paying I am role faster than you could do alone and all by yourself. If you're interested in that guidance, the link is in the description below. Thank you all for watching today. I'll see you in the next one. I appreciate all the love, all the support. Um, if you're new here, like I always say, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.